Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're making the Interdict class Star Destroyer, which was seen in Star Wars Rebels in 1 to 50 scale. So it's about 1 50th of the size that it should be. Imagine 50 of these stacked one by one all the way probably <laughs> to the distance there that you can't see. That would be the real size of the thing. Obviously 1 to 50 is a nice scale here. You can see it kind of compared to the Venator. And I've done most of these so far in... in tutorial videos which you can definitely check out on the channel there is a playlist on my channel for that as well and yeah it's just a nice scale works quite well for these little capital ships here and it's a little bit more accessible than the 1 to 10 scale stuff which is obviously uh, 1 tenth of the size it should be so again stack 10 of those in a row you get the real size um, certain ships like this just work a little bit better in 1 to 50 just uh, to I suppose give you something quite easy to do, something laid back. This tutorial definitely won't take very long and you know, works nicely with other ships of the line like the Imperial Star Destroyer there. And I will definitely be making some more 1 to 50 scale stuff in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I will just do a quick turnaround here. You can see the engines here at the back. Nice kind of taper up from the edges here. And this is a view at the underside. Obviously, the main distinct feature is going to be the four gravity well projectors that are on this model, which are represented just here with the polished underside and smooth stone, and again here with the polished underside and smooth stone. So the back one is slightly larger, and it definitely is quite tricky to do almost spheres um, at this at this scale. I think they work out quite nicely, particularly at a distance. When you get up close, you can definitely tell they're just blocks. But yeah, you've got that on the top side and on the underside here as well. Just the impression of that kind of swelling almost on the surface. But yes, that's going to be it for the introduction really. The only other thing to say is as with uh, every other build pretty much that I do, unless it's a massive one, we will do the layer system, which essentially means that you start down on this first block here and build anything that's on that layer. So that would be the smooth stone slabs, the iron trap doors, the stone block and the uh, polished site stair there at the back and then you move up to the second layer which is all these slabs all the uh, walls and iron bars and the fence gates over there and just so on and so forth until you reach the very top so yeah let's crack on with the build onto layer number one okay so for layer number one which is essentially just going to be the very start of the bottom of the kind of underside of the cruiser and also some of the bottom of the uh, gravity well projectors as well uh, there are a few floating bits and we will just mark them out with tempered blocks and speaking of that I am going to list the materials now for you so we need the stone block, smooth stone, polished underside stairs, smooth stone slab, iron trap door, stone button and also a tempered block of your choice I'm going to use sponge as I usually do uh, so I use this tutorial pad here and the green line is the front of the build and the red line is the back and the solid line here down the middle represents the width so anything that goes on the left also goes on the right and then this will be your center line where you build you know things down the middle the gray lines there also represent the width just so you can see that while we're building and the arrows always point towards the front so when you see those and we're building like this you know that that's the front of the build i think that's all i have to say so we're going to start off with the stone block just anywhere if you're building this in the air you can obviously do it anywhere. If you're building on grass, you can do it anywhere. Um, I've seen some people recently actually copy or mimic this tutorial pad, which I find quite sweet. Um, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. I may make it available to download at some point in the future, but I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. Obviously, then you know exactly where you're placing things because you can just copy exactly from, from this pad. But yeah, two top half smooth stone slabs towards the front. And this is down the center line, just remember that. Polished underside stairs. Top half smooth stone slab next to the stone block. So you're now working on the width. Two iron trap doors top half. Two again. And two in front. Grab the temporal lock. Put this just here. So on the second iron trap door towards the front. And again on the width like that. Do a top half smooth stone slab. And again. Come to this front bit here. We're going to take the temper blocks. And in a row just do three. Down the center line like that. 
Now we're going to quickly move up to the next layer because there are some stone buttons on the underside of the block. But we obviously need to do that block first, so I'm going to place it now. So it's a smooth stone uh, block just there, and one there as well. And then we're just going to take those stone buttons, break your ground layer. Obviously you don't need to do that if you're working in the sky. But again, just like this stone button with the... It doesn't really matter that much, but I have the long end facing outwards. And there we go. And yeah, that is literally going to be it for layer number one. And we've already done a bit of layer number two. So let's move on to that now. I will warn you, it does get a little bit more tricky, but you'll be fine. So let's go. Okay, for layer number two, we are discarding the smooth stone slab, or at least keeping them for later. And stone button, and also the temporary block. I mean, we can probably do away with this completely. Keeping the stone, smooth stone, polished andesite stairs, adding the polished andesite slab and stone brick slab, keeping the iron trap door, uh, adding the chiseled stone bricks, stone brick wall, and with the skeleton skull. We will also need, and I'll talk about the skeleton skull in a minute because you can change that out for something else if you are in survival. We will also need the iron bars, the birch fence gate, and uh, stone slabs, so just normal stone slabs as well. Oh, and a uh, dark oak trapdoor. But we will grab them as and when we need them. <clears throat> anyway, start over here with the stone block actually to begin with. And we'll do all of these at once. Put one there, so in between the two smooth stone blocks we placed from the previous layer. One in front. And then we're going to basically diagonal outwards and do two. And diagonal outwards again and do three. So you can use that temporary block there if you've left it to use it as kind of a base to build on. Put one in the middle. Smooth stain block on the left and right. And then here, this is where you want to put the Wither Skeleton Skull on the left and right. If you don't have the Wither Skeleton Skulls in survival, because they're difficult to get, which I understand, you can either use a grindstone or a polished blackstone button, and it basically just represents the secondary engines at the back. Right in the middle is going to be a uh, chiseled stone brick for the main engine. And yeah. I can put that stone block away now, actually. Get the smooth stone. We're going to put that on top of the smooth stone slab from the pre previous layer. And we can actually put that away for this layer as well. I'm going to get out the birch fence gate. And we'll do these and get these over with. There's just one there and one there. So on the front side of that smooth stone block... We're just going to put it there and then flip them both. And once again, put that away. I'm going to get the iron bars out and also the normal stone slab as we build forward. So we're going to start with the polished andesite stairs. It's just going to go here, upside down, next to the birch fence gate we just placed. Have it facing outwards. Take the stone brick wall. We're going to do one, one there and one there. Like that and then iron bars on these outside too leaving the inside as it is but we are going to put a upside down polished and sites there there as well and there as well followed by a top half polished slab we can also get rid of the temper blocks that we placed on the previous layers we don't need them anymore it's just to help connect everything up but it's all uh, all fine now we're also going to take the stone block as well and just fill in these gaps here just so the trap doors can't be seen through. Take the polished andesite slab here, top half there and there. Do a iron trap door on the back and right and back and left like that. Get the stone brick wall, that's going to be one, two, three and four. And again one, two, three and four. And it should connect up to that fence gate. And then to finish off this back area, we just need to do a load of uh, polished andesite slabs. So there's going to be, uh, and these are all top half by the way. One and two there. Bring it forward by three. And then add four. Uh, like that. So it should be just past the blocks that we placed. So again, one, two, three, four. One on that one there as well. And then one, two, three, four. Put a upside down polished andesite stairs in the middle, and then three top half stone brick slabs this time to join those up. Should look like this. 
with the polished slabs again. Come to the outside stone brick ones and do two, two, two again. And then one, 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 one on the inside. So two, two, and two, one, 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 one. Just like that. Stone brick slabs on these final four. Again, all of these are top half slabs. Just like that. And then stone slab, four of those in the middle. Take these stone brick slabs again. This is one, two, and three. And then with the polished slabs, one, two, three, one, two, three, and three on the very nose. The final thing is gonna be just grabbing that dark oak trap door. And this is gonna be where the, I think it's a hanger if I remember correctly, but uh, yeah, just down here. Three trap doors, three again. And that's basically it. Uh, I'm just double checking I've got everything, but that looks all right to me. So with that, let's now move up to layer number three. Okay, so we're now starting layer number three and we have these materials here. So stone, smooth stone, gray concrete we're gonna add, observers, polished on the site stairs and stone stairs. Stone slab, stone brick slab, smooth stone slab. You'll also need things like light grey carpets, grey carpets, stone pressure plates, polished black stone buttons, levers, uh, deep slate tile slabs, and a few other little things as well. Just miscellaneous detail blocks. Because we are starting the top side of the build now, so it does kind of have more just little greeble details. We're actually going to start just over here above where the skeleton skulls are, the wither ones with a stone slab bottom half on both sides, like that. We're then gonna add a upside down polished underside stair up just there like that. And then behind it, a top half smooth stone slab. Take the observers, we only need a couple of these for this build. Um, I think there's just a few at the back here for the kind of detail between the top of the superstructure for the bridge and between that and the, uh, the main kind of body as well, so. Yeah, you just do one there and then another one next to it and then there as well. I just have the arrows facing outwards. You can do them inwards, it doesn't really matter. We can probably get rid of that now. And they're going to take that grey concrete, just one there and there as well. Smooth stain block now. Just going to do one, two and three like that. One, two and three. Take the stone stairs. I'm going to put one just there facing that way and then a polished andesite stair next to it facing that way a polished stair facing this way and then a stone stair facing that way so again one there corner one one there as well and then the stone stair also goes just here take these stone blocks we're going to add one two three inwards by one and then we're going to go down on each side here by an extra five. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Smooth stone here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stone stair facing that way. And that way as well. In fact, they should yeah, and change this one to a corner one like that. That's uh, my mistake there, just with the orientation. But... Yeah, should look like this. Polished air facing towards the middle and then corner that. Just like this. Two stone brick slabs. And two stone slabs in front. Two polished and side stairs facing inwards. Two stone brick slabs in front of those. And one single stone slab in front of each of those as well. Grab that iron trap door now. I'm going to put these starting from the front here in front of those stone slabs on this bit here in front of these stairs as well in front of these stairs and then the final one is going to be here at the back just in front of this observer next to the slabs. Take the stone slab now we're just going to put one here and there as well on that side. We are going to swap the iron trap door out now for the uh, light grey carpet. And I'm going to swap the... In fact, we'll do the grey concrete now and then we can swap that. So do this here in between these stone blocks. 
just before you reach those polished stairs. And you can leave that there. We're going to swap this out now. We're going to grab the grey carpet in its place. There's going to be just four of these and they're going to start from this iron trap door and do one, two, three and four. You can do the light grey ones here as well. There's two there, two there. Uh, two on this gap and there as well. Two on this gap. Just one here in front of this stair. Another one here in front of this stair, this stair and this slab. Just another one on top of this iron trap door from the previous layer. And then now we can switch these out. We are going to get the lever. The polished blackstone button as well. And we also need the birch sign. First lever, just going to go here and flip it down and there as well. Birch sign on that smooth stone block. And then the polished blackstone buttons along the front row, just there like that. <coughs> ah, one more thing. Just the deep slate tile slabs. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And uh, one <laughs> additional thing. Stay on pressure plate in that gap there and there as well. And that should be it for that layer. So let's move up now to layer number four. Okay, layer number four. I've just kind of refreshed the materials in the inventory here. We need the stone block, grey concrete again, polished and side stairs, stone slab and smooth stone slab, deep state tile slab, light grey carpet, lever, and the mangrove button once again. We're going to start, I guess, just here on the upside down polished stair and put a stone block. And again, and then a polished stairs. Do a deep slate tile slab. Top half stone slab on that one and that one. Grey concrete on top of the observers. Two bottom half smooth stone slabs on each side. And then light grey carpet, one, two, three. Three on the right. Two to the left here, two again. Two bottom half stone slabs. And then this is another light grey carpet, just on top of the previous one, so it should just float. And then do one in front on top of the grey concrete. And again on that side. Take the polished stair, it's going to go just here on this middle smooth stone. Smooth stone slab there. Like that. Before I forget, I'm just going to switch out the light grey carpet and grab the iron bars. I'm just going to put that there on the back. There. It's kind of, again, building up the, the spine of the superstructure at the top where the bridge is. I'm going to take the mangrove buttons now. These represent the kind of red line that goes down the middle. Sadly, on this kind of scale, it, it couldn't go the entire way down without fully replacing the grey stripe. Um, it's just meant to be a really thin set of red lights. You managed to do it at the top here with the full blocks. You just put a mangrove button, one there, one there, and one there as well. You can get rid of those. Do a smooth stain slab here and here, and again a lever facing towards it to round that off. So again, you're capturing that kind of round shape there on the edges. And yes, that's going to be everything again for that layer. So let's move up now to the final few layers. I think we just do it all at once. Um, I'm fairly certain. But we, we will see. It's going to be layer number five anyway. Uh, five onwards. So let's do that. Right, okay, for layers five and six, just a big mess of materials here. But these are the last ones we'll need. Stone block furnace for the bridge detail. Light grey banner. Stone button. Iron trap door. Stone pressure plate, light grey carpet, smooth stone slab, polished and the side stairs. Start with the stone block next to this iron bar here, just down the centre line, one there. Three here. And then you can do the furnace on top of this stair, just facing sideways so the uh, kind of cobble detail is at the front. Get the polished and side stairs, do one upside down just here. And one there as well. 
like that. Light grey banner on the back. Top half smooth stain slab next to it. Top half smooth stain slab again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stain button on top of the polished stairs. Iron trap door in the middle. Stone pressure plates behind that. And then light grey carpet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that actually concludes the build. Pretty simple one today. Um, but definitely a nice um, segue into potentially more 1 to 50 scale builds. I'm going to try and put the shaders on without the game crashing. Which it often, well not crash, but it does uh, slow down quite a lot. I am looking at switching to a new shader. Which could be quite interesting in the future. But we'll keep an eye out for that. I'm going to continue to use Seuss Renewed for now. Uh, I'm going to change to a different time of day. Try something a bit more relaxing. There we go, that's really nice. But yeah, definitely got all the nice angles. And it will be interesting to give this build a shot in 1 to 10 scale. Because be able to capture you in more detail then. Uh, but here are some of your key angles, so you got your side view there, the back view as well. Of course this model was kind of the predecessor to the actual Imperial Star Destroyer version of this, which is essentially just the Imperial Star Destroyer model, but with the big gravity well projectors on the side, which is quite cool, and it could be an interesting modification for the 1 to 50 Star Destroyer, or even the 1 to 10 Star Destroyer as well. So um, yeah, let me know if you want to see any of those. And other than that, that's going to be everything from me today. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. Link is in the description. Go and have a look, see if there's anything you like. And yeah, see ya.